Happy Valentine's Month, everybody. I'm the Sluggers Review, and I'm here today to share with you some of my favorite Valentine's Day episodes from TV shows or even movies. Um, not everything is all lovey-dovey. Sometimes Valentine's Days deal with heartache and everything. So some episodes will be romantic and lovey-dovey, while others will be very like sad and heart-wrenching and stuff but love is love it doesn't always come with like you know smiles and giggles and glee you know so i'm here today to talk to you about batman the animated series season two birds of a feather so this is a penguin episode and in this, we see Batman and Penguin, and Penguin is basically trying to steal stuff, and it's Batman stopping him over and over and over to the point where he's sent back to Arkham Asylum. And Batman tells him, three days out, and you're back to your old tricks and everything. And so, like, because the Penguin just does what he wants to do best, and that's just steal money and stuff, and live that high society life. He's, uh, and so, like... This penguin has the design of the Tim Burton one, which is one of my favorite designs. And the voice actor does a great job. I remember when they redesigned him for the new adventures. I'm just like, why go back to that old design for? And y'all have such a like a cool design. And so yeah, I remember in the Mystery of the Batwoman movie, they revoiced him for that. I don't know why. I honestly don't. I hope the voice actor is still alive. But anyways. So, like, he, um, uh, it's his last day in Arkham Asylum. Or actually, no, he's not in Arkham. He's in Blackgate. That's right. Because he's not criminally insane. He's just greedy. And so, like, I know in the Batman animated series, they kept putting him in Arkham for some reason. And so, like, he is boasting about how he's probably gonna have a limousine to pick him up and all this and nobody's there and so he's constantly just boasting about high society lifestyle how he's so posh but he's really nothing and so he has to ride like the prison bus and when he goes back to his place he assumes that all his like fellow like villains and stuff are gonna be there to throw him a party nobody is there but batman shows up to tell him you better be on your best behavior and everything it's getting to the point where oswald is starting to feel petty and pathetic and like a loser like i i like i don't know what the backstory is with this penguin but like in other versions he used to come from a family of wealth and then they lost their wealth so he turned to a life of crime stole to get that wealth back and he thinks he really is truly like the, the highest of highest people, but he's really just like, just like nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like he has nothing and stuff and he has to steal to get everything. Well, anyways, Bruce's friend Veronica and their friend Pierce, Pierce is very snooty and stuck up, right? So they're talking about how they're rich and they're bored and need some excitement. And then they remember one of their friends who's rich, rich. And then um, when the Joker got out, he like kidnapped their friend one time and held her hostage and all this other stuff. He's all like, that was a couple of giggles they had and stuff. And they're all like, hey, why don't we do something similar to that again? But then the Joker's locked up, but then they see the penguin is out. So Veronica starts working her charm on the penguin. And he's more than happy but then he's he he's not dumb he's just kind of like you know why are you doing all this and everything so she's taking him to all these fancy restaurants and art museums and the opera and he's having a good time and she's lying to him to my oh you know i like you and all this other stuff and while he's with her he's constantly like embarrassing her because like he just thinks he's so much better than people making jokes that aren't funny when he's at the opera he's like singing along in his like awful singing voice and so bruce picks up on this that she's using him and tells her you know you better not do this and stuff and as pierce is always in the background laughing and chuckling and stuff and so at some point 
They are walking out in the street and some thugs try to rob them and Penguin fights them off. Then Batman shows up and beat the thugs up and then he starts to beat up on Oswald. But then Veronica tells him that he's innocent. Batman can't believe this and thinks well, maybe he is trying to turn his life around. So one day she invites Oswald to like a party and he's ready to propose with this gold like bird pendant and stuff. Bruce sees that and it's all like well I hope you find happiness like he just can't believe it right. However when Oswald finds Veronica she's talking to Pierce in the room making fun of Oswald. And well you don't make fun of bad people. <laughs> Especially those that have an umbrella that can shoot out acid, uh, has a knife in it and a gun and all kind of other stuff. And so he gasses her and kidnaps her. So at this point in time, Pierce is talking to Commissioner Gordon and they're waiting for the penguins call. Batman's on the rooftop on the ledge just like listening in to everything. Penguin calls in and he wants a million dollars. But even though Pierce thinks that's chump change, Commissioner Gordon lets him know that he wants you to make the drop. Pierce is just kind of like, why does he want me? He wants revenge on him too for making fun of him. So when he goes to make the drop, he walks off someplace and then he falls down in the sewer. We see that little giant yellow like duck that's from the Tim Burton Batman Return movie. And it takes him to the sewer system and um, above is like the opera where they was at. It's completely empty. It's now been rigged to do like some bad stuff. Now when Batman was on the ledge, he overheard all this. So he's ready for the penguin, right? And he places a tracking device in the money. Penguin sees that and he's kind of like, crap, how about I speed things up? So he has Veronica on a giant chandelier, a giant one in the air. Pierce is like shackled to the floor and the chandelier is going to fall on Pierce, killing them both. And so Batman shows up. They fight a little bit, but Penguin escapes in this kind of like opera theater type dragon thing that he's ready to shoot out real flames. Flames are everywhere. Flames are on the rope. And then the chandelier starts to fall. Batman does what he does best to stop it. And he saves both of them. After that, he t um, the, the penguin, I think, like crashes into something and all this rubble's on top of him. After being arrested, Veronica actually tells him that, you know, despite using you, I was actually having a good time with you. And she meant some of the stuff that he said. But then he tells her straight up, gives her some hard truth. That like, um, I forget exactly what he says, but it just, it's just one of those moral lessons of money can't buy you dignity or something like that. Uh, something about high society and all this other crap. Making her realize that you are just a snooty, stank butt little woman <laughs> and everything. <laughs> and it's the honest truth and stuff. And so he walks away sad and heartbroken. And you know, you can't help but feel sorry for the penguin in this episode. Like, the man has nothing. He thinks he's all that, but he knows he's not all that because he has nothing. And then he and then he looks the way he does. He's a giant man, balding with long, scraggy hair. He only has three fingers that looks like in the shape of flippers. And he has a giant like bird like nose because he looks like an actual penguin uh, from that of the Tim Burton movie. And no woman would ever want him. And then when he finally thinks he has a knockout, it turns out. It's like the whole, um, what was that movie? Was it, um, that movie with Freddie Prince Jr. And I think her name is Rachel Lee Cook, I think her name is. It's that movie where he wants her to be like prom, um, prom queen. I can't talk prom queen. And, um, she's like a nerd and he dolls her up. And she finds out that he just tricked her and stuff. It's just like, it's just like that. And that's why people need to stop doing crap like that, manipulating people and like using folks and stuff. Because love is a very powerful thing. And when you're angry, it can turn deadly and everything. Now, wasn't that romantic or depressing, depending on what kind of video I just talked about? <laughs> okay, well, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Bye.